Well, I think the, the standard orthodox approach that we have been using out of the textbooks is to treat testing as a scarce resource, meaning you only use it when you need to, when you're fairly sure you'll get a positive test, and when the result will have some kind of consequence for treatment. So people had to be really, really ill in order to qualify for a test. But this is an asymptomatic pandemic. People can spread it through feeling mildly ill or feeling actually completely fine. So there was a big mismatch. And I'm, I'm delighted now, although it is two and a half months later than it should have been, uh, delighted that we are actually expanding that testing now. Well, you've anticipated my next question because I was going to ask you about the timing. You say it's two and a half months too late. How come? Well, we've known since February that this is an asymptomatic pandemic, that the thing to be really worried about are not people who look really sick, but people who don't, but who still may be spreading it. And we knew that as it was raging through Europe, we had plenty of case reports to tell us pretty convincingly that the thing to worry about were people who felt fine, but who were nonetheless very contagious.